What up guys? It's Chris with Bottle Cat Barbecue coming at you with another easy recipe that can be done inside in the oven or out on the grill. Today we are making polka bites. So put on the later hosen, bust out the clogs, and let's get going. Now as I said, this is a really super easy recipe. There are only four ingredients to this thing, guys. Can't get simpler than that. First up we have some kielbasa. Then we have just regular bacon. We have a cup of brown sugar, and we have some cayenne pepper. First we're gonna get our kielbasa ready. So in order to get this ready, we wanna cut it in pieces. So I'm gonna cut it in half. Then cut this thing in half, long ways. And then cut into individual pieces. Should get them all about the same size. That way they all cook evenly. Next up we have our bacon. So not every box of bacon is the same. So you kind of want to just take your pieces, kind of get them on here, get a rough estimate of how much bacon is going to need to wrap them all the way. I've already tested this out. I know that much. Just all the way over. And that's just shy of half. So I'm going to cut the whole slab down so like that. And I'm actually going to take off this in notch. I know people are going to scream at me. Not gonna let it go to waste. I'm gonna use that for flavoring somewhere. Have some toothpicks on hand, and all you're gonna do is just put it flat, flat down and wrap it. And toothpick. It's that simple, guys. Just gonna do this for all of them. Just like that, a few minutes later, you have them all done. Now, again, I have a cup of light brown sugar. I just got in here and kind of just fluffed up, making sure there's no clumping or anything in there. And we're gonna, to that, we're gonna add some cayenne pepper. Now, I'm just doing this because I like a little pop of heat, because Arizona boy, you know that. So you don't have to do this step, or you can add different flavors if you want. Maybe add some cinnamon, other, some, season, some seasonal stuff, maybe like nutmeg, but I'm going to add two teaspoons of cayenne. That's just because I like a little extra pop of heat. Add more or less, or add whatever you want. Make it your own. This is one of those down-home recipes. So believe it or not, I actually have to thank my boss for this idea. Some people's bosses give them raises. Mine gives me recipes. <laughs> I guess I need to work on my negotiation skills. But he, he and his wife gave me this idea. I wanted to do it. it sounded awesome. Hey, got that ready. Also have a pan over here with some parchment paper. And literally all I do is dunk them in there and coat them. Don't have to be caked on or anything. Just make sure. It's covered. There. A little bit more. The bacon itself will help hold the sugar to it. But if you're having some hard time with this, maybe spray some canola oil or just rub some canola oil or olive oil on there. Okay, make sure it's coated. Out of there. Do the same process for all of them. All right, these things are going in a 375 degree oven for about 25 minutes or until nice and brown. All 
All right, 25 minutes later. See how these things turned out. Smells like bacon. Smell fantastic. That sweetness is coming out. Obviously the excess sugar is gonna run off and burn a little bit on the hot pan. But the bottom, nice and caramelized. All right, we're gonna let these cool off and we'll try them out. Now that looks like a tasty plate of deliciousness. <laughs> so these smell awesome. They're nice and tacky with the sugar. Bacon's crisp and firm and just glistening. The bottoms of them are caramelized. They get a nice little crunch with the sugar. Wow, looks fantastic. All right, let's give one of these a try. Mm. Wow. <laughs> so if you ever watch any of the cooking shows, they're always talking about a well-rounded taste. You got sugar, acid, salt, savory. This is literally firing on all cylinders. It's firing on all of those. You got the salty and the savory from the bacon and the, and the kielbasa sausage. Um, and then you got the crunch and caramelization of the sugar, which gives a, a texture as well as a sweetness. But what's nice is the sweetness isn't overpowered. There is so much savory and saltiness coming through that it kind of balances out, which is really nice. And just like I wanted, there's only a slight bit of that kick of the cayenne. So honestly, next time, I would even either use more peppers, like different types, or I would use more of it, um, or both. <laughs> but honestly, the sugar, you saw how I was knocking it off. I could even leave it on like that, because there's not an overpowering sugar taste at all. It's not overly sweet. So it just has that nice, well-rounded flavor profile. It is really nice. It'd be great for any party. You know what? I wonder what these would be like if you smoked them on the grill. Hmm. Oh, hey, let's give these a try. So coming inside off the grill, obviously these things have a different color to them. Um, the bacon's not as firm, but also it's a lower temperature than the oven. So the, the sugar didn't burn off as much. Yeah, these things look fantastic. Let's give one of these ones a try. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> so I am blown away. So just like I mentioned, lower temperature, so the sugar didn't burn off as much, is more sweet. However, again, it's not overpowering, but it, de but it is more prevalent. It's there more. And you can definitely taste the grill. You can taste the smoke coming off of the charcoal, and I, I use a, a little chunk of cherry wood. You can taste that. It's almost front and center that came off of a smoked environment. 
So I cooked these for about half an hour out in the grill. Uh, that smoke flavor is there. The bacon isn't as crispy. It is soft, it's a little chewier. But depending on how you like your bacon, that could be fine for you. Me, I do like it a little bit more on the crispy side. So maybe I'll go about 40 or 45 minutes out there. I was keeping the temperature around 270 to 300. I want to keep it under 300 because I wanted a good smoke time in there. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Please remember to hit that like button. If you like what I'm doing, go ahead and hit subscribe so you get notified when I do more videos. Guys, thank you very much. And again, thanks, boss, for the recipe. Um, it's fantastic, just like you said it would be. So, hey, guys, thank you very much. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, I just want to show you that no matter what you got, no matter how you're going to do it, just cook it. See you guys.